everybody, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. And today, as you guys saw from the title, I'm doing a video that I did a few years ago. I believe I did it my freshman year of college. And now we're back for my senior year, and I'm gonna be doing it again. That video is obviously going to be telling you guys my list of shows that I have planned to attend for this upcoming fall 2021, basically for all the shows I have planned for my fall semester, basically. Um, I've missed doing these videos, obviously couldn't do it last year, and now the shows are back. I'm so excited. I have been, literally been buying so many concert tickets the last like two months, and I have so many shows planned for this fall, and I guess early winter, that I'm gonna share with you guys today. They're pretty much all in Chicago. <laughs> Spoiler alert if you didn't know, yeah, I go to school in Chicago, I live in Chicago. So, um, I'm very excited to share with you guys all of the tours I'm going to, and always, as usual, would love to hear what shows you guys are going to. And since there's a lot of them, I'm just gonna get started. So without further ado, let's start this video. So the first show I'm attending is on September 2nd, and I'm seeing Knocked Loose at the Metro. This was the first show that Knocked Loose ever announced pre-announcing their fall tour. They were doing this one-off show in Chicago on the Thursday, I think. I don't remember if the first show was actually the Thursday or the Friday. I think it was the Thursday and everybody jumped on board. I was so excited. I literally cried <laughs> when the show got announced and I bought tickets right when they went on sale. I knew they were going to sell out and they did. Um, and then they announced later on they'd be doing a second show, the Friday show on September 3rd, also at the Metro because the first one sold out so fast. And now this tour, whole tour got announced and Chicago has two dates, which is pretty fun. And of course I was like, mm, this one's on a Friday. Like, should I do a double header action? And I love Knocked Loose. They are my favorite hardcore band for anyone who didn't know. So of course I had to say yes. And I bought tickets for this show as well. So I'm seeing Knocked Loose. As I'm filming this, it's next week. <laughs> I've seen them twice next week. I can't believe it. Like. I obviously haven't seen them in a very long time. Haven't seen them since I think November 2019. So it's gonna be almost two years. And the Metro is gonna be really, really fun. I am super, super excited. They have two different sets of openers for the Thursday and Friday show, which was another reason I really wanted to go to both dates because I wanted to see a bunch of new hardcore bands. Um, and I cannot wait. So very, very excited for these shows. My next show after that is September 9th. I'm seeing Turnstile at the Metro. Um, I believe it's for their little like one-off tiny tour. Like they're doing a few dates, but it's not a very, very big tour, um, but it's their show. I haven't been to a Turnstile headlining show um, since my freshman year actually. So it's been a long time. I saw them at Riot Fest two years ago, but I'm very excited to see them at their own show, especially once again at the Metro. I haven't seen a lot of shows at the Metro in my time living here. So I'm excited to be going to the Metro a bunch of times this semester and early on in the semester. And I think it should be an amazing show. I love Turnstile and I cannot wait to hear all of their new songs live. Next, I'm seeing Real Friends at the Bottom Lounge on September 11th. And I'm very excited about that show as well. This is a one-off Chicago show um, just for fun. I know they are also going to end up going on tour with state champs, but they're actually not having a Chicago date. So I think that's part of the reason why they wanted to have this little Chicago show. Also, they're from Chicago, if you didn't know, and it's gonna be their first big show with their new lead singer. And I'm really excited. It's a great lineup. Will Met and Action Adventure are also opening for them. They're both Chicago bands who I've seen before, who I love. So it should be kind of a great, almost, like support your local scene type night which I'm really excited about and I mean I can say this for every band obviously I haven't seen a lot of these bands in a long time and I'm really excited to see what Real Friends sounds like with their new lead singer as well as hear what their new songs sound like with the new group so really excited for that show next I'm going to Riot Fest which is September 16th through 19th in Douglas Park here in Chicago obviously and I'm gonna do a whole separate video like I did two years ago about Riot Fest and who I'm excited to see but um, it's a great lineup, even though <laughs> some of the headliners keep dropping out because of COVID, which I totally understand. And honestly, if it ends up getting canceled, I'm not going to be shocked. I hope it doesn't, obviously, because I'm very excited and it's a great lineup still. Um, but we'll see what happens. I hopefully will be there also running um, Loyola's radio stations booth we have like a little kind of merch like booth over near all the tents and i'm also going to be running that as well as just enjoying the festival so hopefully it won't be canceled obviously if it doesn't you'll see a vlog on it and i will do another video probably next week about who i'm excited to see at riot fest my next show after riot fest is actually <laughs> that following tuesday it's gonna be a very long week um september 21st i'm seeing dance gavin dance at the aragon ballroom i swear to you out of all of these shows 
that I'm going to this fall. This is probably the one I'm most excited for. Also probably because I've literally had the tickets for like two years. It was supposed to happen April of 2020 and then obviously that didn't happen and then it got pushed to fall of 2020 and that didn't happen. And now it's been pushed like a year and a half later. <laughs> and oh my goodness, like I am just so excited for it. I really, really hope that it obviously can happen. Um, it's been pushed back, like I said, like I think at least three or four times now. And my friends and I bought the tickets when they first went on sale. And we have like a whole squad that's going. Like I love Dance Gavin Dance. I loved Afterburner. And I haven't really heard any of those songs live because the last time I saw them was for Artificial Selection. So I cannot wait to hear all of those songs live. They were insane live. It's gonna be my third time seeing them. Also, Aragon Ballroom is a very big venue. It's like a giant open room. So I just imagine that the pit is gonna be insane. And oh my God, I literally am just so excited. They are so talented. They are amazing live. And I've listened to them so much. They were my artist of the year, both in 2019 and in 2020. So like, I just love them so much. And I, ooh, I'm so excited for this show. After that, the next show I'm seeing is on October 14th, where I'm seeing 21 Pilots, also at the Aragon Ballroom. This is part of their takeover tour, where they're just hitting like four or five cities, but they're playing like four different dates in each city, all at increasingly bigger venues. It was a mess getting tickets, and I'm just thankful that I have tickets, because you had to go through this whole like code process, where you put in like your top three shows you wanted to go to for each city and then you would apply for a code and if you got a code <laughs> that gave you access to getting tickets but like you weren't guaranteed a code and the code didn't even guarantee you tickets so some people like tried to get tickets and like never even got a code like it was just a mess um i obviously would have loved to see them and got tickets for the smallest venue which is bottom lounge it's like my favorite venue in chicago anyways um that was my number one and then number Two was I think House of Blues because that's the next one and then number three was Aragon and then the last one is United Center but I hate arena shows and I did not even put that one as my option um, which I'm glad I did because a lot of people that did that automatically got United Center codes I didn't I obviously got an Aragon Ballroom code and I saw them in Aragon Ballroom in 2019 and it was a fantastic show because you got all of the theatrics of them being at a big arena like United Center but you didn't have any of the annoyance of really, really expensive prices and having like a bunch of seats and gigantic arena. It's just all in a big room with some balconies. But if you have GA, you're like automatically in the pit kind of thing. Um, so it was a perfect scenario of seeing 21 Pilots there. That's why I was like, you know what? If I get Aragon, I'm not gonna stress because I know it's gonna be amazing. And it's about the same price as when I saw them two years ago, which was pretty good. So I'm not complaining. I'm really, really excited. For that i'm just so thankful that i was able to get tickets to see them on this tour because like i said obviously i haven't seen them in two years and even though i don't love their new stuff i'm not as big of a fan as i once was they're just so good live that i'm not complaining and if they come here to a smaller venue that isn't united center that in itself i think is already pretty rare so very excited for that show after that, on Halloween, I'm seeing Boundaries at Reggie's Rock Club. I am so excited. If you guys have watched any of my videos really this year, I've talked a lot about Boundaries. I got into them at the beginning of 2021 in about January. And they're from Connecticut. They're from Hartford, you know, they're East Coast hardcore. And I just really want to support them. And Nick and I saw that they are coming to Reggie's Rock Club on Halloween. He's a huge fan. He got me into Boundaries. And so we're both going to see them on Halloween. And they are the second to last open. So they're right before, um, I believe, Body Snatcher is the headliner, who I still have to check out, but I've heard they're good. And Boundaries actually recently got bumped up in the lineup. They were supposed to be maybe like the third to last opener, and now they're the second one. So super proud of them. They deserve it. It's going to be an amazing, like, hardcore night. And I just feel like seeing a hardcore show on Halloween is just, like, perfect. Like, just that's the kind of vibes you want. Boundaries is one of my new favorite hardcore bands, so I cannot wait to see them, hopefully meet them, and just... Just, just give them some love and support them. My next show will be on November 20th at the Riviera where I am seeing Surfaces, who guys might probably be like, oh, wouldn't expect you to be a fan of them. Like they're obviously not pop punk or anything. Um, they're definitely more pop 
ambient kind of vibes um, but you probably have heard at least a few songs by them they're pretty big they kind of blew up on TikTok last year as well or some of their songs did um, but they were actually at Lollapalooza and they did a Lollapalooza after show here in Chicago and tickets were very cheap they were like $25 and of course I was home during Lollapalooza um, I wasn't here so I wasn't able to go to that after show which I definitely would have gone to and I was like damn like of course services would come here when I'm not in Chicago and my friend went and they said you know the show is amazing and I was like well guess I'm not going I won't see them whatever hopefully they'll come back at some point but usually when they do come back it gets expensive um, and then they announced this tour but Chicago I don't think was initially on the, sh the tour date because I think obviously they were here recently but then like a few weeks ago they added Chicago because they were like hey we had such a fun time being here in July we're gonna come back so I am so excited I freaked out I made sure I got tickets and I can't wait to see them for the first time. I've really gotten into them the last year, especially in the summer. They have very much summer vibe albums, which is why I kind of wish I saw them in the summer because I feel like seeing them in November won't be the exact same vibe, but I'm still so excited to see them. Um, I think it's gonna be a great show and just a, a little bit of a, a mix in genre, you know, a different kind of show from all these hardcore and pop punk shows that I you know, have planned, which will be really fun and I'm super excited. After that, my next show will be November 23rd, where I'm seeing Neck Deep at Radius, um, which is actually a new venue in Chicago. I mean, it, it was, it's not really new anymore. It was, would have been new when the show was supposed to happen, which is obviously last year. Um, this is another one that got postponed. A bunch of these got postponed, honestly, but it's a new venue um, that now I guess is still new only because it's never had like a bunch of shows in there yet. Um, but I'm interested to see what it's like. I'm excited. Um, I don't obviously have never been there, don't know anything about it, but I, it's, you know, it's kind of standard size. I don't really know how big it is compared to something like Bottom Lounge, but this tour is going to be insane. It's Neck Deep, Heart Attack Man, and Boston Manor. Like, I literally, my brain is going to explode. Also, I haven't seen Neck Deep on their own tour since 2016, I think. Like, literally since the AP tour. Um, but even then, they were still opening for state champs. So I've never seen like a real true headline Neck Deep show. And I am so excited. Um, I enjoyed their last album. It wasn't my favorite, but like, I really enjoy everything they've ever put out. So the show's gonna be amazing. And the fact that I love the openers as well, being able to also see Boston Man or and Heart Attack Man again in the same night. Like it's just going to be an amazing show. Uh, it's Thanksgiving week. So it'll be a great way to kick off some of the holidays. <laughs> And um, I'm so excited for the show. The next show after that will be actually the Saturday after Thanksgiving, November 27th. I'll be seeing Belmont at Beat Kitchen, um, which is a smaller venue in Chicago, really like a tiny little bar kind of vibe. And I can't believe Belmont is playing there because it's a pretty small venue. And I mean, they're pretty big, but I think it's gonna be amazing. I forget who else they're playing with. This got announced pretty recently, but I think it's gonna be amazing. I love Belmont, obviously they're from Chicago and I've listened to them for years and years now. And their shows specifically in Chicago go crazy. And I know with a small environment like Beat Kitchen, it's just gonna be one hell of a show and I cannot wait to see them again. My next show after that will be December 4th where I'll be seeing Citizen at the Bottom Lounge and I love Citizen, y'all know. Um, I haven't seen them really as many times as you, I would like to, um, especially with their own headline tour. And this one is gonna be for their newest album that came out this year, which I love. I gave it a great review. I've really been enjoying it this year. So very excited to see them again and to hear all of the new songs live. Then the week after that, December 11th, I will be seeing my favorite band. <laughs> I will be seeing Knuckle Pug at the Bottom Lounge. Literally my favorite band at my favorite venue. Like I cannot complain. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen them at that venue. And so this is just going to be like the pinnacle of my kind of show, if that makes sense. Like I'm so excited. It is actually their 10th year anniversary tour. Um, so they're celebrating 10 years of being a band and it's gonna be so perfect because assuming I'm able to see them Riot Fest, that show will be my 10th time seeing them. It'll be my 10th Knuckle Puck show, 
while they're on their 10th year anniversary tour. Like, how perfect is that? Like, I, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, and it's in my favorite venue, in my favorite city, like, the hometown knuckle puck show, which are insane. Um, oh my god, I literally freaked out. They just announced this very recently, like, the last two weeks or so, and I freaked out, I spazzed, I was home when it happened, and I was like, I gotta buy tickets, and I bought those pre-sale tickets real quick, and I am just so excited. It's gonna be amazing. Like, it's in December, so I gotta wait a little bit, but, really hoping like nothing, nothing gets canceled like this happens because like seeing them at Riot Fest will be fun but they're only gonna play like five or six songs and I need to hear like more of the new songs live like I heard a little bit of them when I saw them on Halloween last year at the drive-in show but like I need to be able to really bop so I am oh, beyond excited for that show then, the week after that, December is just every week, it's craziness. Uh, on December 17th, I'm seeing Hot Mulligan at the Bottom Lounge for their tour that also has been postponed like 10 million times. Um, it was supposed to be the tour to, you know, kick off their new album that isn't new anymore, You'll Be Fine, which came out in 2020. And, you know, it has like part of the album cover on the tour poster, you know. And I'm really excited. The openers have kind of shifted a bit, and I don't really know them. Like, Heart Attack Man was supposed to open for them, and then they moved, you know, they didn't, so then they moved to someone else, like a bunch of new other bands. So I have to, like, get into the openers, obviously, but I love Hot Mulligan. I've seen them so many times at this point. You know, they're from the Midwest, so their shows here are always fun. And I really, really am excited to hear what these new songs from the new album are like because the last time I saw them was February of 2020 like at their own show and they played a few of the singles but the whole album wasn't out yet and then when we saw them open up for Knuckle Puck at the Halloween show they literally played like five songs it was the shortest set it was really sad <laughs> so I want to hear like some deep cuts from the new album and some oldies and and they keep putting out like you just put out a new little EP they keep releasing like little one-off songs like they are not stopping when it comes to releasing new music so I cannot wait to hear all of the new tunes live. And finally, my final show of the semester, which is right after the Knucklebuck show, it's like the day before I'll probably fly home, is December 18th, and I'm seeing Beach Bunny at the Riviera. Um, I bought this one really early on, like this year. Like this was one of the only shows I had planned for a while for the fall. And I'm so excited. This is like before I even knew I was thinking I was gonna see Beach Bunny at Riot because they're also gonna be at Riot Fest. But I got into them a ton last year, as you guys know. Really fell in love with their last album. And I wanted to see them at their own show because A, they're from Chicago. And B, I had just never seen them before and wanted to go to their own show. I think it'll be a really fun show to end this semester with because they're obviously not too hard. It'll be like a fun, like pop indie kind of fun show um, that I think will end off the semester on a really great Great note and it's at Riviera which I've never been to the Riviera but as you guys have mentioned I have a bunch of shows there this semester so excited to you know get to know that venue and by the time of this show I will have known it very well and I just cannot wait to see them at their own headline show but there you guys go I think I didn't miss anything um, I'm sure new shows will pop up in the meantime there are some that I have saved that I might go to but all the ones I mentioned I have tickets for and I'm definitely going to be at if any of you guys are also going to any of these shows specifically in Chicago let me know like comment down below DM me on Twitter like I don't have plans to go to a lot of these with people <laughs> I, I you know go to shows alone by myself a lot in the city usually end up knowing people there anyways but if any of you guys are also going alone want a buddy want a friend feel free to reach out like I'm always down to talk to people at shows hang out with people at shows I've missed meeting people at shows and like making friends in the crowd and I'm really really excited for that to be back this semester in the fall and really hoping that none of these get canceled like I have a scared feeling that I'm gonna end up getting having to get like refunds for all of these shows since I have like at least 15 planned but you know what fingers crossed everybody get vaccinated like wear a mask and stuff I don't even care about wearing a mask in the venue like I will do that because I just miss live music and I know a lot of you guys do too um, also comment down below if you guys are just going to any other dates on any of the tours I mentioned and which shows you guys are excited for this fall because I would love to hear it but other than that I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video Bye.